Hello everyone, welcome back to Higher Mathematics. Really interesting algebra problem today. We know that x squared plus y squared equal to 7, x cubed plus y cubed equal to 10, and we need to find our sum x plus y. On the first side, this equation is a simple one. We can easily solve it, like using a root right here, square root right here, cubes root, but it's not, it only looks like that. We need to find the tricks right here. We need to solve it. And in this video, I'm going to show you the best way how can we solve it. So if you enjoyed this video, put your thumbs up, please like on the video and write any comment. I really appreciate it. It's not hard to you, but it's really important for me. Thank you and let's go to let's go to solve it. First of all, I want to write that let this sum that we need to know, let this x plus y will be equal to, for example, equal to n. So this sum will be equal to n. And right now I want to start with this equation, x squared plus y squared equal to 7. So we have x, x squared plus y squared equal to 7. So let's start with, with this equation. And right now I want to show you a really good trick right here, because if I write that x squared plus y squared, and in the end I write as plus 2xy and minus 2xy, equal to 7, so nothing changed for us because we can cancel it. But if you look closely to this expression, x square plus y square plus 2xy, this is our formula, a plus b square. So we will have x plus y square and of course minus 2xy equal to 7. So I hope you understand this step. Okay, and right now x plus y equal to n, we write it right here in the beginning, this is our substitution. So x plus y is our n. So what do we have as a result? We have n square minus 2xy equal to 7. And we can easily simplify this a little bit. We can write it as n square minus 7 equal to 2xy. Dividing both sides by 2, let's divide it by 2, simplify this a little bit. And we will have n square minus 7 over 2 equal to xy. But this is, this works for, for x square plus y square equal to 7. So this expression is really good. I place right here this, this sign. So this is our first expression that we find. n square minus 7 over 2 equal to xy. So it's really good that we find it. Let's solve this in the next way. We have the next equation, x cubed plus y cubed. I write it right here, x cubed plus y cubed equal to, equal to 10. And right now I want to start with the cube formula, a cube, a plus b cube, a plus b cube. This formula looks like that and it's equal to a cube plus b cube and plus 3ab and in parentheses a plus b. This is our this is our formula. But right now I want to mention one really interesting, really interesting moment. If we rearrange these, rearrange these elements in another way, so we can easily write this formula. Take a look closely. x cube plus y cube equal to x plus y cube and minus 3xy in parentheses x plus y. So when right now I want to mention one really interesting moment because this this equal to 10, x cubed plus y cubed equal to 10, x plus y equal to n, and x plus y equal to n right here. So what equation we will have? We will have n cube, n cube, we will have minus 3xy times n equal to equal to 10. So this is after all of this substitution. And let's solve this. Let's divide both sides by, by 3n. Let's do this. If we divide by 3n, what we will have? We will have that n cube minus 10 equal to 3xyn. If we divide in both sides by 3n. Okay, what we're going to do next? Let's divide right here by, by 3n, this element. And we will have our n cube minus 10 over 3n equal to xy. So as you can see, we find the second element. This is our first element with this sign. And right here we find the second element with this sign. So this is works for x cube plus y cube equal to 10. So as you can see right here, we find 
x y in this way and in this way so let's let's write equation x y from from this one from this point equal to x y from this equation that we find so n square minus 7 over 2 n square minus 7 over 2 equal to this that we find equal to n cube minus 10 over 3n so we just <coughs> write an equation with this x y that we find in this way and in this way so let's solve it how can we solve it cross multiplying real quick cross multiplying 3n square or not n square this will be n cube as well minus 21n equal to 2n cube minus 20 real quick rearranging on the left 3n 3n cube minus 21n minus 2n cube plus 20 equal to 0 and at last rearranging right here we can subtract it so as a result n cube minus 21n and plus 20 equal to 0 how can we find our n this is a cube equation so we need to find of course a factor real quick and i see right now that if n is equal to 1 we will have 1 cube minus 21 n plus 20 and right here of course 1 so 1 plus 1 20 21 21 my minus 21 equal to 0 so if n is equal to 1 is really good for us so right now we need to divide this expression n cube minus 21 n plus 20 let's divide by this n minus 1 if we divide by this n minus 1 we have real quick n square right here right here n cube minus n square right here plus n i try to to solve it real quick for you i don't want to waste your time to this to this to this problem n square minus 21 n right here plus n and right here minus 20 because right here we have n square minus n so 20 n plus 20 and right here 20 n plus 20 and zero so we factor in our problem like that we have n minus one and in second parentheses n square plus n and minus 20 equal to zero so as you can see right now we have n minus one so it's not hard to see that our first root n will be equal to one the second root because right here we have minus i feel like four and minus five so n second will be equal to four and n third will be equal to minus five so finally we find our our n in this in this interesting problem and right now we need to check we need to check all of these all of these combinations right here because if we have for example n equal to one we have the first combination we have that x plus y equal to four and from here y equal to four minus x and we need to plug in this x plus y we need to plug in this y in this equation and we need to check it in the second case we need to check it as well we need to check x plus y equal to minus 5 and from here y equal to minus 5 minus x and the last the third case if x plus y equal to 1 then we need to check y equal to 1 minus x so we have three cases and I want to go further and I want to say that right here in this case there will no will be solution if you're talking about uh, solutions and in the second case as well so one only case that will have solution is when x plus y equal to 1 and y equal to 1 minus x take a look closely so we have that x plus y equal to 1 then y equal to 1 minus x so if we plug in all of these elements we have x square plus y square but y equal to 1 minus x so 1 minus x square equal to 7 what quadratic equation we will have we will have x square minus x minus 3 equal to 0 so as you can see discriminant will be positive so in this ways we have our real roots real roots so as as you can see if we have right here real roots so this is one and only case that this works so one and only root answer i write it right here we have answer x plus y equal to one this is our answer right here our discriminant will be negative in these cases 
So this is my approach to this problem. Write your question in comment, write your suggestion in comment, what do you think about this solution, maybe you have another method how to solve it, and of course write your question in comment, write your suggestion in comment, it would be really nice to read it. And thank you for watching, thank you for your support, write any comment if it's not hard to you, and thank you for watching, see you in the next videos.